Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Part of my job requires me to travel quite a lot and I like to travel with my fountain pens and I have a, a particular setup that I like uh, to use when I travel. Um, it's nothing fancy, it's nothing out of the normal, but just what I like to use. And I often get quite a few questions about this when I post on social media about flying with my fountain pens and things like that. So what I thought I'd do is I'd do a, a few little videos over the next uh, week or so before I head overseas uh, about the pens that I'm taking and why I travel a certain way that I do. So what I thought I'd do is I'd start with what is my main pen when I travel uh, and that has become the Twisby VAC 700. Ah, now this is um, a really wonderful pen. It's got a great nib on it. It's a great size pen and it's not overly expensive. Um, so it's a little more than a couple of the other Twisby models, but nothing sort of out of the normal. This is a, a vacuumatic uh, vac filler. Uh, so, um, you know, it does have a, have a uh, you know, sort of some uh, interesting features about it. And one of the interesting features is the fact that you can I don't know if you can quite see that in there, but you can seal off um, the ink chamber uh, so that you're less likely to get leaks. You can still get a couple of little um, spits if of ink if you're, um, you know, from the ink that's already in the feed and all of that, but it's unlikely to, to cause too much damage if all the ink is contained in the barrel of the pen. Now, as you can see, this pen is empty, and that's empty for a reason. Um, one of the things I travel with with this pen is the Visconti... Uh, traveling or the, the ink well. Now this ink, traveling ink pot, this is uh, I think a fabulous product. Is it a necessary thing? Absolutely not. Uh, you can easily use sample vials or um, bottles that aren't glass. The Diamine 30ml bottles are great. The bottles that Blackstone ink come uh, in are also fabulous. But what I like about this is that it sort of fits into the pen case well, it holds a good amount of ink, um, and it's designed for more or less mess-free inking of the pen. Uh, now these on their own are $70 American, um, but I, I have well and truly got my values worth out of buying this. Uh, so yeah, what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd fill up the pen today, show you how it works. Um, it's inked at the moment with Diamine Twilight uh, in there which is my uh, ink of the year, if you will. Uh, and so, yeah, I thought I'd fill it up, show you, and then uh, do a quick writing sample, and then over the next couple of videos, show you the other pens that I'm taking away, which will culminate in the review of a new pen that I've got specifically for this trip. So, yeah, here it is. First things first, when you fill this, the top comes off, it's just like a little um, plug, if you will, uh, with the rubber seal that's in the, in the inkwell. Um, you eye dropper ink down into the barrel of the pot um, and it holds a good amount of ink. There's a little line there that you shouldn't fill up past. It's just under that at the moment. Um, and what makes this really unique is the fact that the little rubber seal in there will fit around most pens. Um, so when you put the, it in, it creates a seal. And as you see, when you turn it up, and particularly for things like vacuum fillers, they're a really good fill it, way of filling the pen almost to the brim. Um, but there is a little trick with the vacuum fillers that you need to use when using these traveling ink pots or they can get a little bit messy. Um, so yeah, we'll start by, what I do is I pull it with the vac fillers, I pull it back. And as you don't have to do this with uh, cartridge uh, converter pens or anything like that or piston because they don't create the air pressure. Uh, but what I do is I get this to the point where it's just about to that point where it's gonna uh, pop. I insert it into the inkwell then we get it, oh, it's clicked off, got a little bit in there. Now, if I pull this back, we get a couple of, there we go. You can see that we're getting ink into the pen and it's filling up nicely. One more and we should just about have a full fill. And there we are. So now I turn it up, I remove the pen Still very careful with it. Let's dab that nib down with paper towel. Re put the lid on the inkwell, and that's become sort of airtight again. And we have a fabulous full fill of the VAC 700. Sorry, I went out of frame there, didn't I? Um, 
and yeah, you got there's a little bit of air in there, but for the most part, that is completely full fill. Um, and that'll last ages. Like the, the, the incapacity of this pen is remarkable. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't. I'll probably only have to top it up once on the entire three week trip. Um, and there's still more than enough ink in there to do that. So let's just do a quick writing sample of this pen. This is the Twisby VAC 700R, and this is a medium nib. Now these are pretty smooth nibs, really, um, and the ink is Diamine Twilight. So, yeah, so these are, these are smooth. Um, just a steel nib, um, but and pretty rigid. You're not going to get a lot of line variation out of it. But they're smooth. They're quite wet. Um, you know, it's a it's a great pen for travelling because it's con it's reliable. It's consistent. Uh, so it has a huge ink capacity. It's got that ability to to lock off when we're on on the flight uh, flights. Uh, and it's robust and it feels great in the hand. And it's got a nice sort of bit of a wow factor about the way it looks as well. So this is my first pen that I travel with. Uh, over the next few videos, you'll see a couple of others. And uh, yeah, hopefully you found this video helpful and interesting. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications button uh, and all of that stuff. Please feel free to drop me a message or if you've got any hints for people traveling with fountain pens, drop them in the messages below. Now I am gonna be starting a Q&A uh, series of videos in the next couple of weeks. So if you've got any questions, comment on any of my videos uh, and I will, add it into the, the list for the Q&A, which will be coming up soon. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe and get notifications so you know, see when those videos come out. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.